Rapid Insight Analytics is a exploratory data analysis and predictive modeling technology which allows you to quickly find relationships in your data and build predictive models. Any interesting findings that you come up with can be quickly put into a PowerPoint presentation or into a report. Uh, and predictive models can be built very quickly and automatically. I'm going to start out by opening up a data set. I've got a historical data set from a uh, mailing that was sent out to a, uh, a sample of our customer database. Um, so I've got 17,828 records in this data set and 33 variables. I'm going to go ahead and load that data and then I'm going to create an analysis on this data set. Here we start out on the first tab. Uh, we've got all the variables that we've read in. Uh, as you can see here, we've got a lot of demographic information on our customers, uh, and we've also got a response variable, which tells us whether or not the customer responded or made a purchase from the mailing. Over here on the left-hand side is a series of tabs. Uh, each one of these tabs represents a different type of analysis that can be done on the data, and it kind of flows in the order in which a analyst would uh, go through an analysis, especially when the end result is to build a predictive model. Um, I'm going to start out uh, just kind of clicking through a couple of these tabs. The variable statistics tab lets us uh, calculate automatically any of the statistics for the numeric variables in the data set. So uh, for every variable in the data set, uh, we've got the mean or the average, the standard deviation, uh, the minimum and max value, the number of missings. Uh, this is just a good place to start out to get kind of a sanity check of our data. Um, if uh, any min and max values look uh, uh, different from what we would expect, we'd probably want to go and check that data a little further. We can also analyze the data or quickly scroll through all of these records in the data set. Uh, the univariate tab lets us view the distribution of any variable within the data set on its own. I'm going to go back to the first tab and I'm going to choose a variable as my Y variable. So I've got this responder variable. Again, it's just a 0, 1 variable telling us whether or not the customer uh, responded or made a purchase uh, to this particular mailing. And I'm going to jump to this automated mining tab here. We can see we've got all the variables in the data set and we're analyzing this responder variable. When I click on this variable that, or this uh, button that says auto mine it, it's going to go through all these variables and it's going to quickly determine which ones are statistically related to the response variable. Uh, it's going to put them in this related variables box. It's then going to find all those variables that are not statistically, re statistically related to the responder variable and it's going to put them in the non-related box. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Uh, you can see Rapid Insight quickly went in and found 19 of those variables which did in fact have a relationship with a responder variable and 13 which did not. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is actually view these relationships. Um, and now we can see in this drop down uh, list here we've got all those variables that were found to be statistically related with the response variable. Uh, the first chart it's showing is the uh, DMA or the designated marketing area of, of the customer. Um, pretty ugly chart to begin with. A couple things I'm going to do. I'm going to fix the x-axis uh, labels here. I'm going to sort the, uh, the, the bars from highest to lowest in terms of response rate. And then I'm going to get rid of any DMAs that we've got in this data set that had less than 100 customers in them. <clears throat> so now I can see uh, each DMA uh, and I can see in red uh, any category that was found to be statistic, statistically different from the rest. And now I'm looking at the um, response rate as the bars, which correspond to the uh, left-hand y-axis, uh, and the um, sample uh, rate or the uh, percentage of the modeling sample that we're looking at here. Um, and we can see that uh, that DMA 686 actually makes up a very small percentage of this sample, so it's probably a relatively small group. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look through a couple of these other variables. Uh, got, let's see, estimated income. Uh, so we can see here there's definitely a negative relationship between the uh, the median income within the neighborhood of each customer and their likelihood of response. 
we can see uh, we've got the response rate on the y-axis, we've got the estimated median income on the x-axis, and we can see there's a, a very uh, a good looking line here or a linear relationship. We can actually make this more granular if we want. Um, and we can click through any of these variables. Here we have uh, the homeowner variable, so we can see uh, the fact that someone is a no known homeowner, um, those known homeowners responded at uh, much lower rates than those that are not to be homeowner are not known to be homeowners. Um, we, the uh, homeowners responded at a rate of 12.6 percent. Uh, those that are not known to be a homeowner uh, responded at a rate of 16.8 percent. Uh, and they made up 58% of the sample, whereas the known homeowners made up 41.9% of the sample. I'm going to jump out of here, and I'm going to jump over a couple of these tabs, and I'm going to go right to the modeling tab. I'm going to use 100% of this data set to uh, build this model. Now we're in the, the modeling screen here, and there's a couple different ways that models can be built with Rapid Insight Analytics. First way I'll show is we can have Rapid Insight Analytics build the model for us automatically. Uh, we can see it went in and uh, used about uh, 10 or 11 variables. Um, it used estimated median income uh, of the customer. It used the median home value within the uh, neighborhood of, of the customer. Uh, created a bunch of binary uh, zero, 01 variables for a uh, number of these uh, DMAs, or designated marketing areas. So the fact that a customer lived in any one of these uh, given DMAs uh, added or subtracted to their response likelihood within this model. Uh, we can see it took the uh, square root of the length of residence, so the uh, amount of time that the customer lived in their current household. Um, and then it took the log of the number of adults living in, in that household. Um, and we can look at all the diagnostics for this model. And over here in the, uh, the lower right-hand corner of the screen, we can see a decile analysis uh, on this, this model. And then we can look at the actual response rates in each of these deciles. And what we want to see is a generally descending chart like this where uh, the, the model was able to classify the higher responder uh, customers in these deciles and the lower responder uh, customers in these deciles. Uh, if I'm happy with this model, I can memorize it. Um, and then the user does not have to have uh, Rapid Insight build the model for them automatically. Uh, for example, if I want to, I can make all those uh, variable transforms available to me. I can uh, say, for example, uh, start out with one variable in the model, and then I can have Rapid Insight uh, find for me the, the next most predictive variable in this list over here. So if I click on this uh, Suggest Next Variable button, it's going to go and uh, search through this entire list of variables, and uh, it's going to find the next most predictive variable after taking this median home value variable into account. So I can click on that, and it used the square root of the length of residence uh, of the customer. I can click on that again. It used uh, a binary variable for uh, DMA code 524. And I can keep clicking this, and each time it's going to go in and find the next most predictive variable in that list. Uh, if I'm happy with this model, I can memorize it. And then there are a number of other ways that models can be built. Stepwise regression can be used. Um, I'm actually going to uh, get out of here, and I'm going to go into the Compare Models tab. Uh, in here, if we had built more than one model, we can go ahead and compare those models side by side. We can look at those models. Uh, we can compare them, for example, just in terms of their decile analysis, uh, or maybe we just want to look in terms of cumulative lift. Uh, and then if there is one model that we're happy with, we can save that model as a scoring model, and then we can have Rapid Insight. Uh, we can point Rapid Insight scoring at any uh, new set of data and have it use this model to score that data set.